It's a lot more fun to be in a community than all alone at home in your own workshop. There's always interesting people doing interesting things and different people to talk to, and there's lots of different mediums that one could pick up, which is a lot of fun. It's just a wonderful community of people that get together and are really excited to make. The inception of this place is what makes it so special. I think it's a direct response to the system and the situation that we live in. Um, you know, constantly people are like, oh, we feel kind of alienated from our jobs and we aren't able to create freely. You know, we have to do things in order to make money, which is true to an extent that this place kind of is a sort of outlet in um, this creative freedom. There's loads to do. There are 14 different shops and people of all different um, ages and ranges of hobby can come and make to their heart's content. People can come here to get involved in electronics and robotics or jewelry or woodworking or metalworking. Uh, they can learn about 3D printing and take classes. I think we have about 500 classes a year. You can learn uh, 3D modeling programs and do laser cutting. So there's a variety of different shops that people can utilize here as a member. Primarily, we are a member-run organization, but you know, as we've been growing larger, we've had more staff come on. But yes, we are a 501c3 nonprofit, technically, as registered by the state. But a lot of members do have a lot of say in what goes on in the organization. The prop shop, which is the newest shop um, that Artisans has, members felt the need for this prop shop to be at Artisans, so they made it happen with proposals, being able to propose a budget, and that's how a lot of the things happen here, is through members wanting something to happen. There's many different types of memberships. We have nights and weekends. We have 24-7 memberships. There's actually ways to offset your membership through volunteering and through providing um, education and stuff like that. My name is Alana Krepschen. I make jewelry here at the Artisans Asylum. I also teach classes and am the jewelry shop lead for the jewelry shop. So I call my jewelry sculpture to wear. I use a lot of silver, brass, copper. I've been newly working in titanium, some semi-precious stones. I like to think of them as mini sculptures that you can wear. Right now, I teach a daytime jewelry 101, which is like an introduction to jewelry, everything you need to know, basics, sawing, soldering, etc. And that's six weeks for three hours, one morning a week. I also teach a jewelry 102, which is a little more advanced, and that's three evenings. I've had students ranging from just post-college to in their 50s and 60s and retired. I definitely recommend people coming and taking a class and trying the place out and then seeing if it's a good fit for them. Um, but a class is a great way to just walk in off the street and learn a new skill and get a feel for the place. My name is Melissa Glick and I make sculpture out of old computer parts. The parts inside are beautiful. They look like little abstract sculptures to me. The shapes and the textures and the different colors. This, for example, comes from a VCR. And it's got these beautiful orange and red circles, shiny silver metal. They're kind of found objects because I have to find them inside computers. And then I combine it with um, two-dimensional collage, and I call them hacker creations. I came to the asylum in 2012, so I think that's seven years. I started with just the storage space, and then I got a 50 square foot p uh, space, then I shared a 100 square foot f space, and now I have my own uh, 100 square foot space. It's awesome because there are all these wonderful people here that have a lot of knowledge and they're very generous. It's a, a barter system. I mean, if I, anything I can do to help other people, I'm happy to do it. I love it here. It, it is uh, my full-time job. It gives me a place to go every day. Some people like antique furniture. I like antique technology. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we're going through a lot of new changes. We're kind of putting it on our plate to be more um, open to just reaching out to as many people as we can in the Somerville area or the greater Boston area in general, just to see what can happen. I love this place, it's awesome. Everybody should come down and make stuff. Get a space immediately. <laughs>